from, from Screen Shelf. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of From Screen to Shelf. Uh, we are back. We, we decided to do another timed ranking challenge because we had a lot of fun with the last one. We barely mm -hmm. made it through the last one where we had like a minute and a half left and we compromised and we didn't agree 100 percent, but we, we were able to kind of finish it up. And we were like, you know what? Let's do it with another franchise, but one that we're both super passionate about, yep. which is Star Wars. Yes. Um, it's. I mean, arguments well, never we, happen with this by the way what's that <laughs> i said arguments never happen with talks oh between god star dude wars, by star the wars <laughs> <laughs> if you bring the i mean it happens every few months on the discord where everyone starts debating all the star wars movies it's kind of funny to watch yeah. um i think most people i we can't say there's a consensus i think every, most people agree when disney kind of took over that it, it just it's not the same um mm -hmm. but yeah I, I i'm more optimistic than chase chase was like I, he feels like we might not agree a lot on this and we might need more time i was like bro i think i think we might agree on this i i don't know though okay um so i think we could do it within an hour like batman um so i'm gonna put us and give us an hour on the timer um so just to kind of go over for people who haven't seen us do a timed ranking challenge and how it works so uh i'm gonna put an hour on the clock uh, chase and i are gonna rank these movies but the the thing is by the end of the ranking we need to agree with the ranking that's on screen if someone does not agree with the ranking on screen uh then we need to keep going until we both agree and that's when we finish the challenge uh, if we get to you know the final seconds and we don't agree on a movie's ranking and you know we just end up not agreeing then we lose so uh this is going to be an interesting one because people get very passionate about star wars and i just learned from chase right before rolling that this is one of his favorite fr franchises. You and I don't okay, talk about Star Wars a lot. We don't. You're about to find out a lot about me. <laughs> Interesting. Well, you too, man. Because, like, honestly, these I, these movies I'm very passionate about. Like, it's yeah. always Batman and Star Wars with me. So, um, yep. I will put an hour on the clock. Yeah. Well, this is. Let's see. I, I I'm optimistic, dude. I think we can knock this out pretty quick. Watch this okay. be like a 30 minute video. I I don't know, but we'll we'll okay. find out. I do right. want to shout out the server before you press that button. Yeah. The one place in this universe where you can go have a calm discussion about anything <laughs> and everything Star Wars. I've never seen an argument break out over there. Shout out them and how wholesome they are when you talk about Star Wars. They they get there's some debates that happen, but everyone is super <laughs> cool about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You might get called crazy here and there, but it, it's yeah. all with love. Um yeah. and I know Chase isn't gonna agree with this and he might cut it out the video, but shout out to the Golden Knights. For oh my head. god! Not even. We're three we're and three with... for making it to the second round first. <laughs> there, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be wearing this shirt next week. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna set the timer in three, two, one. We have one hour that's going on the timer right. right now. Um, all right, so we so... can go ahead and knock out because we were we were talked about this whether we should put it because this is shout out the user. Whatever your name is, you're taking up time. But <laughs> I know, right? Clone Wars. <laughs> you put up Clone Wars on the thing. We were unsure if we wanted to, so we're gonna go ahead and not go in quite an order right off the bat. But we're gonna go ahead and knock out the animated Clone Wars movie from 2008, nine. Yeah, it was uh, early on. I will say it sounded like I'm a little bit of a bigger fan of this than you are, but it's purely because it's Asajj. I really like Asajj. I think she's a oh. great character. Um, I think the the way her hilts are, I don't think any part of the Clone Wars ever amounts to the mini series from like early two thousands. I loved that stuff. But oh, I just, the mini I series it. Clone War? The one where General Grievous is actually out of a horror movie. <laughs> Dude, that's oh my god! I remember I that. that I, yeah, yeah. Asajj was cool. I mean, like, yeah, Asajj is the main villain in in this movie. I I think the reason I'm not a big I I, I don't want to say I'm a big fan. Super it's mediocre different. to me. It's mediocre yeah. to me. It's it's super kid friendly, and it's like if you actually watch the Clone Wars TV series, it it's like leagues beyond anything this movie offers. At That's least to fair. Me. 
I can, yeah, because this is more of a little origin. Hey, here's what we're going to be coming out with. I would say for this one, not to spend too much time on it, I would say I'd settle for a D, but I'd probably per- put it as a personal C because without it, we wouldn't get the show. I I can put it, let's put it as a C for now. Okay. I can compromise for a C. I might put it lower, but um, I just, it just didn't do anything. Honestly, dude, I, I don't know what you think about it. It's not on here, but I feel like Rebels is like, one of the best like star wars Mm -hmm. like content put out there i mean it's not on here but i think it's leagues above beyond clone war so yeah shout out um, rebels for sure yeah but let's let's get through the movies because this is going to (laughs) be this is going to be interesting do you want to start at episode one or work our way backwards from disney's uh uh, cinematic achievements uh honestly we went, how do you want to do sequential it sequential with the f- very first one so let's get the negative out of the way you know? yeah <laughs> i think we both agree right okay rise fucking of skywalker f. fucking dude, f, dude. f the worst star wars movie <laughs> fucking f, ever man. i mean do you want to talk about why it's the worst star wars yeah because people are going to care they don't want us to just glaze right over it but yeah um, man it's just like and I, I don't even really see it as the issue of being like they spent so much time retconning as much as it was an issue that they should have had a for, with how much time they acquired the rights before force awakens came out i think it was four or five years mm-hmm. that was plenty of time to write a coherent series for you sure. know what i mean or a coherent trilogy and my biggest problem with it which i'll go into more detail about as we go backwards um i do genuinely genuinely or I am still genuinely, genuinely almost damn near insulted with how much they misled us and the way that it ended with Finn. Mm -hmm. Like they literally, the marketing made you think, and this isn't me manifesting things. I I, like, I I thought maybe it was like that Berenstein bears type of stuff where it's like, you know, that syndrome, you Mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I put the term for it. Yeah. But I I really thought maybe I was goofing myself into thinking the story was supposed to be Finn turned stormtrooper, And we Mm -hmm. never got that. But in The Force Awakens, it lets you still believe that by the end of the movie, that it's possible. And you get nothing but a blank slate of a character. I do like Kylo Ren. I think I'm kind of in that little middle ground minority. I think he was the best out of anybody in there other than Poe Dameron. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a minority for that. I think most people, I could be wrong. I think that he's 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 one of the few characters that I feel like there is a dilemma with. Like he actually has okay. like a, a, at least His to me, weight. like I, I like, yeah, like yeah. I like Kylo Ren. I think that he's... Yeah. He has a lot of weight and he has a lot of like stuff he's torn about whether you know with where he comes from and where he's going and like you can't say that about any of the other characters yeah. in the series at least with the the sequel trilogy yeah and the problem is with this is like a lot of what happens in this movie doesn't make sense unless you read the comic books but literally any movie before the uh, the disney sequels you've never had to do that you yeah know what i mean that's like, fair enough with yeah, a, a, with Snoke and like what happens after the last Jedi and everything like that. We're going to talk it about just, the last Jedi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's really my biggest thing. Like the, 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 the love dynamic ish, you know what I mean? Like the, the insinuations, this and that, and like just the back and forth and then the emperor coming back, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that it felt like they were trying to recreate, the epic scene, which is still to me one of the greatest sword lightsaber fight scenes in cinema in ep- episode three, they tried to recreate mm-hmm. it with water instead of lava in this movie. And it just fucking failed sure. between um, Kylo Ren and Ray. I would say that's was like one of the high points of the movie for me. At least no, it was still personally. good. Yeah. But it still felt like they, they could have done better. You know yeah. what I mean? And I, mean, I felt like it could have been something better with the whole there. movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That movie was um, terrible. The only thing I disagree with you is I know you said at the beginning it's not so much the retconning. For me, it is completely the retconning. I feel the like they retconning. they were in such a and I'm gonna be people are gonna hate me for saying this. So like I didn't not I, I don't like The Last Jedi. I mm-hmm. did not hate it as much as people hated it. Yeah. Um I I I give it some merits because it did something it unique it did its own thing it didn't really give a shit about what the fans wanted and i I want that from a director i want that from a writer or filmmaker whatever like like give me what you what you want from a story and i feel like the backlash was just so bad with what happened in the last jedi that all of rise of skywalker was just retconning it's like we killed snoke let's bring palpatine back it's like uh uh ray's not a she's a nobody but no let's make her a palpatine oh like yeah. let's you know like uh at the end of it you know uh kylo's like super bad maybe we need to 
make him good again and kind of you know tie it off like return of the jedi and it's it, it's just so fucking painful to watch dude it's yeah. like it's it's I've only it's, seen it once only and this is I've why i i get a lot of backlash for this because i've said it on reddit i i hate catering i hate when movies cater to fans in the sense yeah. that it's like 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 when it's done like this it's like because the fans complained now you get this shitty ass fucking movie that's compute it's complete garbage because people and don't get me wrong you're allowed to bitch about the less jedi if you don't like it but I, th- I think it was just so over the top i think the bitching about less last jedi was just too over the top and over excessive that that's why we got rise of skywalker so i blame I, I blame half of it on the fans and i blame half of it on um lucasfilm for what you had said because i completely agree they should have written these three movies out you know yeah. in, in, in one sitting like it's mind-boggling to I me mean, you have the biggest franchise in the world and you're not writing the entire story out you're mm-hmm. going from each film to each film with different directors it, it's fucking crazy to me it's, mm-hmm. it's mind-boggling so it's complete garbage, bro. I hate it. I mean, yeah. the visual effects are great. I mean, I think that space battle at the end when where all the ships are in the air and you know yeah. she's fighting Palpatine, like the visual effects are freaking phenomenal in this movie, but um it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, and I agree just to banter a little bit more on that specific portion. It um yeah, it, it's just it felt rushed. It felt like they had to come out with one every two years. And it's yeah. just like you could have let it marinate. Even George Lucas didn't feel obligated to do that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure. Like, he let a lot of time. I think what it was 99 for Phantom Menace, then 2002, and then 2005. So every three years. Or, six or something like that. Yeah, like if yeah, three exactly. years or so. Yeah, and that's good. And I bet you he would have pushed it back had he had any reason to. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> I think so. If he felt like yeah. it wasn't a finished product or it wasn't what he wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I don't, I, and I blame Lucasfilm. I, and I honestly blame Kathleen Kennedy a lot too. I feel like she, it, and it sucks because she, she has some good films under her belt as a producer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think she's, she's not stupid, but for some reason with star Wars, she just doesn't get it. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I, I don't know what else to say. So it's like, and then you get Han Solo coming back again and like as soon as I saw Harrison Ford pop him on the screen, bro, I'm like, how much did they pay him? That's the first thought I had was like, how much did you pay this man to get him back? Because he, you know, he didn't want to come back. Yeah, it was just painful to watch. I um, agree. So at least we agree on this one. <laughs> I think we might have a little bit more. I don't know because I've been kind of going in like I, I've only seen it. I think one and a half times. I've skimmed through the Last Jedi a uh, second time. Um, I mean, I've definitely okay. probably never rewatched Skywalker, but. Last Jedi, I despised the hell out of that movie. Um, it's just the goofy moments are hard to overlook. Like the Leia thing. I know I wasn't in the minority on that one. I think that's Oh, where the floating Leia? Instance. That was just there to yeah. be there with no explanation. Yeah. And my biggest thing is like, and I get it, you know, like to, you have an exact point. There was so much established canon and sky luke becomes like literally powerful enough to fight the force of nature itself i forget the exact name in the expanded universe but he becomes that powerful he fights the entity of the force you know Mm -hmm. i forget what i think it's like rise of the swarm or something of the swarm one of those books Mm -hmm. i had a bunch of them growing up but he was like almost a god Mm -hmm. and george lucas said that he's the most powerful being to ever live and with the force at that point right or the most powerful jedi and the way that it goes out, like I agree with Mark Hamill. He really didn't like the the animosity, the anger, everything, mm-hmm. because I don't think that's personally what Luke Skywalker represents. Mm-hmm. And I get it. Humans go through emotions and stuff. But the thing is, is Luke Skywalker is supposed to be that person that's watching this movie. And you shouldn't be like, oh, wow, he tried to kill a little boy. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. if I was eight years old watching this, I would think he's the most diabolical dude ever. And I would just probably not be as invested anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like just personally, really, because that's very diabolical. And Dave Filoni, George Lucas, those, these movies are for families and kids. Right mm-hmm. now, of course, we're, we're, we're adults enjoy these. They're, they're for all ages inherently. But the dynamic of Luke Skywalker just is fucking awful in this movie. I, yeah. I just I cannot get over in the way that he goes out, the whole force goes, and then uh, I'm exhausted. Like I just <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, man. Like it's just I will say the set design for what is that? Is that Sakar with like the, the bleeding sand look? Yeah, I think I think it's called Sakar. Like, yeah, with the sand and then like it's when you scrape it, it's like red. 
Yeah, that looks yeah. really cool. The palace yeah. fight is one of actually my favorite fights in the entire I will say series. that that is yeah, like yeah. The, the 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 throne room with uh yeah. Snoke. I yeah. it is so it, it's a beautiful scene. And Very I it just well cuz the the black, the red and then also the reflection on the floor which is kind of crazy that no one's ever done that cinematography wise. It's like mm -hmm. reflections of like lightsabers on the floor like Yeah. It just it, it is a beautiful scene to look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that that pretty much summarizes how I feel. Honestly, like what would you give it? Guy, if I gave that movie anything out of 10, it'd be a three. But what about on this ranking? Like a D. But a I D? will settle for a C because I it seems like you like it a little bit more. And I'm, uh, I'm torn it. on it. Like I, I I'm comfortable giving it a D. I think that so like my issues with it are pretty much what you said. Like yeah, this yeah. is not Luke Skywalker. Like this is not like you know what I mean. Yeah. He Luke Skywalker was always even when shit was going down in the original trilogy, he always had a sense of kind of like hope. Yeah, he's the new um, hope. <laughs> yeah, he's a new hope. I mean, yeah. yeah. So like, so even you know when shit like like if he was sensing that Kylo Ren was going to become this monster, right? Like, it, I feel like he, his response would be like, "Well, we got to try, as, we got to fight as hard as we can for that not to happen." Like that—that's yeah. what he would do, not just be like, "I'm going to fucking kill him in his sleep." <laughs> yeah, no, <exactly. laughs> like it was so weird. It's not. I mean, I get Ryan Johnson. I've heard him talk about it, where it's like, "Look, like characters, like what you said, they, we're human beings. We we change over time, right?" So, like, yeah. I mean, there's I, I forget what is it, thirty years between this trilogy and the other one? Yeah, roughly. So, I mean, yeah, we we can't. I I I don't disagree with his argument. I I could see that people can change in thirty years, but. Mm. You can't just drop us in at the tail end of that change and not go into why he changed. Like it's just he's just a cranky Luke, and we don't know really why. Like I really, I mean, I get it. he failed Kylo, or he feels like he failed Kylo, but like that's not enough for reason for me to. Yeah, agree. That's not enough. It's if not enough, enough in terms of his uncle Owen would have been enough to become Darth Vader <laughs> in <a> New <laughs> Hope. <laughs> <laughs> i know right he would have been the next like sith apprentice or something like yeah, that <laughs> exactly like, um, the dude's been through so much worse you know yes. what i mean he's been through a fuckload you know it's it's crazy dude so yeah, yeah. i agree with the, the luke stuff um the the biggest thing that i have a problem with this movie dude is there's a whole like and it's like a fourth of the movie the casino planet i feel yeah. it's such a fucking waste it's a waste like, of like you can cut all of it out like yeah, yeah it's a waste of finn it's a waste of that one girl like she's in this for like no reason whatsoever i don't feel like she fulfills any any role mm -hmm. in this movie at all um casino planet big chunk of it you could take that out um the stuff with I like poe and the too. commander girl like like them kind of going back and forth yeah i i didn't really care for i was just like like to me it was like why didn't she just tell poe what what she was planning yeah like it's just like if you yeah. just opened up and told him, like he wouldn't be so adversarial against you. Like I think you just didn't understand. Other like wasted resource <clears throat> in this entire trilogy. Oh, for you sure. Have just complaining. Oscar Isaac, dude, he's just on like autopilot in this. I don't think he gave yeah, a shit. At I don't all. Even, yeah, yeah, he didn't give a shit. I you yeah. can see in Force Awakens he cared because obviously it's like I'm in Star Wars, but in this one you can tell he he just didn't care. I so the, I mean the things I do like. Oh, let me one more complaint. I'm sorry. You, you kill fucking Snoke. And and there's like you know he's you built up to be, yeah you don't know who he is and in the Force comics. Awakens and this one yeah I mean this one and the Force Force Awakens like kind of build him up to be, it's kind of cool you can you they play the music of um what's a uh, Darth uh Palpatine's master what's his name um oh Palpatine's, my god oh, um I'm, I'm spacing it, it's out his so name. fucking iconic in um, uh Plagueis three. Plagueis yes Plagueis <laughs> Plagueis yeah Plagueis the Wise or whatever yeah. they play yeah. his music with Snoke so there oh there's yeah. always a whole bunch of fan theories that he was like Darth Plagueis or something he's scarred up and I'm like oh shit that might be the case but um yeah he know. just dies <laughs> yeah we never know he just dies and it's just so it, it's lame dude I mm -hmm. and then like you said it yeah where he goes out I, like so if you're gonna show us Luke Skywalker dying I want him dying and like the fucking most badass like fight of Glorious. all time fighting like a thousand I, like sith. yeah like a thousand <laughs> sith and ro and like fucking uh, robots yeah. and droids but he's literally a fucking projection <laughs> and yeah he, and he and he dies it, it's just weird dude the whole I, while i was watching the movie it's not that i hated it like throughout i was just like this isn't this is weird this isn't star wars this is off like, cool. that's how i felt the whole movie i will say the golden moment in this movie that i really did enjoy was the yoda scene i know some people yeah. don't like it i really liked it a lot i felt like it yeah. kind of it gave heart to the movie it kind of brought luke back to kind of it 
grounded him a little yeah. bit. So I really liked that scene a lot. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, I mean, we can, we can put it in D. I, I, I don't. Like, I, I want to be yeah. forgiving of it, you know, because it like the, but the more we talk hit, about it. it yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's for just sure. The there are some that scenes that are good. Yeah. I, the throne room scene is great. I think like the dynamic at the end between Kylo and Ray, you know, where like they were about to join hands almost and she doesn't. Right. I think that that was Kylo's a good great. scene. I like yeah, the Kylo's force great. visions or whatever the force, you know, where they can kind of blend between their two worlds. I think that was actually a good idea used in this movie. I don't um, like the power, but I like the uh, it, it does build their character a lot because they in yeah. a way they do relate. You know what I mean? And I mm-hmm. think that that was a great way to kind of develop both of their characters. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Can I How just complain like one more thing real quick about <laughs> I know the uh, rise this rise of Skywalker. I forgot to say the fact that you can heal like force heal a fucking the snake when they did the force healing. The yeah. first thing I thought of, I was like, so you could have healed Liam Neeson in episode one, technically like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that pissed me off. I just wanted to say that for the record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or just raise the first person to use this power in generations because she's a nobody turned Palpatine. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, Last Jedi, it's just, I I mean, again, incoherent, should have written all of it out. If this is the vision that you wanted, you should have let Ryan Johnson, not J.J. Abrams, direct all three. That's that's my opinion. I agree. I think that for Rise of Skywalker, they should have just let uh, Ryan, even though, but people would have bitched. That's what, that's why I'm saying it's like half the fans fault. They still would have gotten their money. They still would have got their money. I agree, yeah. but it's it's half the fans' fault and half the studio's fault. Like if I would have let Ryan Johnson just finish the trilogy out, to be honest with you, it would have been a better movie without the retconning. Just go with the fucking mistakes that you made. It was supposed to be Colin Trevorrow, if I remember <clears throat> right. Yes, and have you read his screenplay? No, was it good? It's fucking weird, bro. <laughs> oh, is it? So it but you know what? Yeah. You might have liked it. I, I like it more than Rise of Skywalker for sure. Like like yeah. they actually give Finn spoilers if you haven't read the screenplay and you want to. Finn actually has a huge role where he actually leads like a rebellion against this. He gets some stormtroopers and he leads a rebellion against uh, General Hux and the stormtroopers. So he gets like stormtroopers that are like unhappy, kind of like how he is. And then he leads like a giant rebellion. And like so like the final scene in the movie, Ray's going off against like Kylo Ren. And then Finn's off doing this thing against the rebellion, like against the stormtroopers and shit. Yeah. I just didn't want to give Finn a role, so they fired Colin Trevorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Colin Trevorrow was talking about like weird shit. He wanted to film in space, like literal space, with IMAX cameras, and I'm like, I'm like bro, this is done it. But why? <laughs> I mean, like, you got a why green not? screen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, that would have been. I, I probably would move it up one tier on sheer audacity alone. <laughs> I just feel like it's kind of weird. I don't yeah. know, but just film yeah. from the outer space. Um, We're at Force Awakens, Force Awakens. right? Which, honestly, this movie I was so curious about, and I actually despised it, and it grew on me oh. over time. Oh, okay. I, it grew on me over time, yeah. Um, I did not like it, and again, it's because of kind of the more misleading marketing. They did mm-hmm. not market Rey to be the next Jedi, and I don't give a damn that she's the next Jedi. I have nothing against her. Well, except her, she's just terribly developed, but everything was built around Finn. All of the marketing was Finn with the lightsaber. Yeah, he had the blue lightsaber and everything. Everything. And, you know, it gave me that glimmer of hope at the end where they're fighting Kylo. But then Kylo's this big threat, but then he gets beat up by two people who have never touched a lightsaber in their life. You know what I mean? That was yeah, my biggest complaint. Sense. Yeah, that was my biggest complaint. And I really was just waiting. And I, I ended up liking it, but I still don't think I like it on the level of some other people. Purely on the fact because I think that movie is 100% nostalgia driven for a lot of people. Oh, it's for sure. This hope. is this is yeah. New Hope 2.0. Yeah, exactly. hundred like percent. And it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It kicked it off in the right direction. I felt like he built, he did a genuinely good job of building a world that he wanted to do. But again, they should have script two and three written to just mm-hmm. let him see out his vision. Right. Yeah. Um, even if he didn't direct it, they should have went with the script that was already written. Um, I, I adored Kylo Ren. I adored Finn. That one part mm-hmm. with the guy with like the, the baton thing that Finn. Fights oh yeah. The lightsaber great scene iconic yeah, even scene, dude. the whole breakout point like i just loved finn in this movie so much and you know maybe i have some animosity <laughs> to episode yeah, yeah, i can tell you really finn. like finn man. i like, love him dude he's like a I, character i like daisy ridley more than finn but um i think yeah it's just the way that he gets developed i just think the idea of a stormtrooper turned jedi is the most badass thing ever like, it is a cool idea for sure. Yeah. And, and they even hint at the end of Rise of Skywalker that he has like some force power, but then they don't fucking ever go into it. So it's like he'll never get a movie. He's talked too much shit about Disney. Oh, dude, he, he's tell ta- Yeah, he has. I've, I've heard him yeah. talk about it. So it's yeah. like 
this movie it is it's just pure nostalgia it's it's new hope 2.0 i'm the kind of the opposite like when it came out i really fucking loved it but yeah. like over the more i've watched it i'm like i can see this is just like a clone of new hope and and i get that i mean i could put it at like b i'd, I'd say like a b is fair okay or a, a or b i mean like it, it's it's a fun i really like watching it still um yeah. so like the scenes like we, i love the scene in the forest where raising the force of the lightsaber and kylo ren pops out and he like well sure oh yeah. dude it's such a cool scene uh and fun fact i don't know if you know daniel craig's a stormtrooper yeah 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 the, yeah when she's yeah. getting tortured or whatever so like it's it's a fun scene dude kylo ren's a good character i love the mm-hmm. the scene with uh him killing han solo i thought that was a ballsy move i know probably harrison ford was like please fucking kill me off finally but <laughs> please, i thought I it was in the first 30 seconds yeah what he was trying to say <laughs> um <laughs> and but it was beautifully shot, like when it the you know the whole thing turns red and it's like you know just the silence and and then Chewie screaming like and you know just complete mm-hmm. agony. It's a beautifully shot scene. I it's a fun movie to me. I really like mm-hmm. it. I, I I wouldn't even mind putting it as an A or B in, in terms of like top tier. I think, I, I think it's fun. Yeah, I I think that's just the parts that drag out really <clears throat> fucking drag out. Like my biggest problem is they're introducing us to a new Star Wars world, but they act like we've never seen Star Wars before. You know I what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's my biggest holdback with that. This is, which I don't know if people ever noticed, but they never marketed it as episode seven and episode eight as eight, and they never marketed which it. Which pisses me. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. I always had a problem with it. I think it's smart on their end in case they ever wanted to actually do. I, I've always but seen then they like, released the case. complete si- si- yeah. The yeah. saga, whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or like the Skywalker saga, and then there's going to mm-hmm. be the Star Killer saga. But <laughs> it's just like. You know, I, I Kylo Ren's lightsaber super badass. Everything like that. Captain I like Plasma that, yeah. was cool in this one. Not really utilized well later, but mm-hmm. that's my biggest thing. Is I do think that it kind of treats the fans like they're dumb, without and it just flashes images to make you feel yeah. good. You know what I yeah. mean? Like here's Harrison Ford. Here's, here's the Millennium Falcon. You know? Yeah, and that yeah. was kind of a scene that took me out. They spent way too long on that Millennium Falcon. That should have been a little it's bit shorter. Nostalgia for trip, bro. Exactly. <laughs> you know. And I'm okay with that if it's done well, but I I agree with the B. That that's about a solid like just yeah. I think that's a fair 80%. score. It's the best one in the in the sequel trilogy by far. I agree. Um, and yeah. we dude, we're at 36 minutes left. We got so we. Of time. <laughs> you said that last time, and then we were crunching. Okay, Rogue One. S. S. The best Star Wars movie. I, I I can argue. I mean, like I still get caught it between empire strikes back and rogue one but i can literally say that that's probably honestly dude you know what i was ready to tell you about this one i was going to say s and i will disconnect (laughs) if you say any lower (laughs) i was ready to say that because that movie is like that movie tears at your fucking heart (laughs) that movie that and it and i will dare say that the last 30 minutes is some of the best in all of star wars um the way visual effects in star wars 100 percent hands down um mm-hmm. best it, the, the risk it takes with like killing off all the characters oh god um, that tore my soul up uh, it, it tears you apart um i love dude i love 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 because there's always been that plot hole in fucking new hope where it's like why would you make a death star with you know this little port weakness thing and mm-hmm. it's like well let's fucking fix it and right into the story where it's like someone was you know like trying to infiltrate and actually make a weakness in the death star i'm like that's fucking brilliant yeah i'm like that's fucking brilliant and like the story like being this kind of like war gritty gorilla kind of movie Mm -hmm. dude it just sold me i i was like this is when i saw this movie i was so hopeful for disney star wars like i was like yeah this is what they're going to deliver each time i'm like this is going to be the fucking most amazing thing ever yeah um and they never did more they were supposed to be obi-wan like this and i I guess rogue one didn't make the money they wanted but god lee what a fucking movie and i'm still going through andor because uh i haven't seen it all but that that's like my favorite that's now my favorite era of exploring in the eu or like the expanded universe prior before now it's a phenomenal movie everything about that donnie yen I'm one oh, with the dude. force. The force is with me. Yeah, I love that scene, dude. And he's yeah. like fighting till the death. It's like dude, every. I mean, there's nothing sad. bad about this movie. Yeah, even this, nothing. you know, the I stuff with uh, what's her face's dad, the Stardust, and you know, mm-hmm. all the calling her dog. And it's just good, dude. It's there's nothing bad to say about that movie. Perfect, um, Star perfect Wars. movie. Perfect Star Wars movie. Yep. It, it, the only the, let me say this: the only thing that made it weird is like it does make the opening of New Hope kind of weird. Because, like, you've seen those memes where it's, like, you know, like, Leia's, like, you know, Darth Vader's, like, boarding the ship. And Leia's, like, we're just, like, a, 
you know, like a peace vessel or whatever. And, he, you know, mm-hmm. in real life, it's like, bitch, I just saw you fucking <laughs> leave. <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> I just yeah. saw you leave with my own eyes. Like, yeah. it makes the beginning <laughs> of New Hope kind of weird in that way. Dude, that um, Rogue One Darth Vader scene, though, that. Cr- oh, the hallway. Oh, oh dude. That's, <laughs> dude, I got goosebumps. Like, when it turned, yeah. when you saw the lightsaber and you heard him breathe, I got yes. goosebumps. And yes. he murders everyone. And it's fucking dude, fantastic. Fucking <laughs> brutal. Yeah. Oh, that that I right there. It. I will genuinely, it just depends on what I'm in the mood for, but that is, if I had to show anybody Star Wars and they could just go in blind, they don't need to know anything, I am mm-hmm. i don't know if I could show them that as the best of the best, but I'd want to so fucking bad. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I would. <laughs> and how do you feel about, well, actually, yeah, perfect 10 out of 10, 11 out of yeah. 10 for a Star Wars movie. Uh, Solo, 100%. how do you feel about Solo? Solo, I think I like it more than others. I don't hate I agree it like with others. You. I, I so like, I, and I don't know if it's because I went in with such low expectations because the Same. production of this movie was such dog shit. Like it had those two directors attached to it. They, there was a lot of reshoots, and then Ron Howard came in, and then they refilmed shit. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on with this movie? Um, yeah. So I went in with like super low expectations. I was just going in saying like, I'm gonna fucking hate this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, he plays a charming young. Han Solo. Yeah. I think he played the character well. Uh, what's his face? I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on names. Don, fucking amazing Lando. Like I think yeah. he. I want it out more of Han. Yes, a hundred percent. I think he did yeah. great with that. Amelia yeah. Clark. I think she did a great job with her character. Mm-hmm. Uh, Woody Harrelson. You know what I mean? Did a great job. Yeah. Like it's it's solidly acted. It's it's a fun movie. It's not it's not like memorable though. It feels like it holds no weight compared to a Rogue One. The For stakes sure. didn't feel high. You know what I mean? Yeah. It felt like it was trying to explain. Like it felt like I think I saw a meme on this, but this is how I felt after leaving. It felt like it tried to, to make uh two hours out of like a ten second line out of what is it? Is that like you know I did the, oh, the, yeah. parse- the Kessel yeah. line and like something you know full parsecs? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like it, it almost feels like that whole movie is just for one line, yeah. you know? And, and again, I liked it. I thought it was fun. I'll it's fun. It's like it. a. It's kind I've of like, like a. Three times. It's a, a grand heist movie in a way, you know. What yeah. I mean? It's like they got to steal this shit and get out of there quickly. And it's it's it. I wa- I don't know if I liked it because I had my expectations so low. Yeah. Um, I will say the thing with Darth Maul kind of pissed me off. I'm like, are you really gonna bring back Just Darth Maul? Yeah. Are you really gonna do that? Um, yeah. I actually liked Amelia Clark's character a lot, and I, I, I wish agree. they would kind of use her a little bit more. I, I mean, I mm-hmm. feel like she could have a bigger role to play. Um, but it's not bad. I, I'd give it like a a C. Yeah, I agree. Right on the money. Yeah. Is it gonna, is it better than Clone Wars or worse than Clone Wars? I uh, That's a hard one. I'd say better. I yeah, I think so. I think I, the rewatchability think... of Solo is higher. For sure. I think so. Now, this might be one that we uh uh Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, these are all top tier to me, dude. I mean, I I Return of the Jedi is the weakest one in the trilogy to me. So we just... agree okay yeah it is i mean it's it's like i mean you have new hope it's like classic you know what i mean that's like the nostalgia mm-hmm. trip and empire strikes back is like the dark you know version and then kind of like it, it's weird like it takes this weird turn with return of the jedi where it's just like too optimistic where it's just like everything yeah. turns out too perfect yeah um even with darth vader's redemption in a way where it's just like it's just kind of like too i like the movie it's a fun movie yeah, yeah. um but yeah I, w- I would probably put it as like a I put it in B over um, Force Awakens. B. I mm-hmm. was thinking A, but I think I could go B. Um, I like the Ewoks. I wanted to at least say that part. I like the Ewoks. Yeah. I know a lot of people complain about indoor, but I think it's great. Like, I mean, you have you have desert, snow, then forest. What the fuck else? You want them to just go film yeah. directly in a, in a fucking <laughs> volcano? Like, what do you want them to do? Like, I thought it was a smart move, sense. and they sold yeah. a lot of toys with those Ewoks, I'm sure. Better or worse than Force Awakens, though? Better. I, I mean, yeah, I'd rather watch yeah, Return of the Jedi all day. Yeah. I just find there to be some awkward scenes, like whenever he finds out, like, the whole sister thing. That's this one he finds out in, not in the yeah, Empire. It's... Yeah, it's just weird, and I get, like, you know, that could even, like, you know, people could come at us and say, well, you clearly didn't write all of those ones all together, you know, because otherwise they wouldn't have kissed. But maybe George Lucas was into that shit and was just trying to give us hints. <laughs> I, you know what though even though he didn't write them together i feel like he mentally had a picture where he wanted the story storyboard to yeah, yeah he had like in his, his mentally in his head so like at least mm-hmm. there's some you know that whereas the sequel trilogy didn't have that at all yeah and then now we're on um empire strikes, strikes back uh s tier yeah Thank now God, that, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's a toss-up 
um, between a few of them that I, I find S tier. Do you find it better? Oh, or... this is the but when I go over over and over <laughs> with bro, I don't know. I go back and forth with these I all think the time. We'll leave it like that since we ranked Rogue One first, but they're synonymous, is how I'll say it. I find those I, to be equals. I yeah, I can't say like high better. regard. Yeah, because yeah. okay. I, I feel like they're so different, too, right? It's like you have the, the epic kind of space saga in, in Empire Strikes Back, and then Rogue One is a war movie, pretty much. It's it's yeah. not it's kind of hard to compare the two, uh, but yeah. I would say they are equal. Both different products quality. at different times. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, And there's not much. I mean, I, the, the reason I love Empire Strikes Back so much is just how dark it gets. And like the, the scene where, you know, Han Solo gets, you know, fucking flash frozen. And the, I mean, the, the, the cinematography and that that fight sequence and you get the I am your father thing. Like, it's just classic, dude. And I, yeah. I just love that cinematography so much that fucking dark. You know, the stark hallways with the lightsabers flashing. It's so fucking dope to look at. Looks good. Yeah, I agree. Um, that was and actually Yoda. my <laughs> second Star Wars movie I ever watched. Oh, I had wow. seen Phantom Menace first and then um, Empire Strikes Back. And, okay. you know, you bet I was confused as fuck. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck is going on <laughs> <Yeah>. here? <laughs> I was so confused. But, um, yeah, Empire is, I, I think it, everything about it, I think it, also, like, do, have you ever heard about like how Tremors is studied as like the perfect movie? Have you ever heard that completely? It's on topic, but yeah, yeah, that? like yeah, it's I've studied like this script is like studied as a perfect script and like mm-hmm. the the character development and everything like that. I feel like Empire Strikes Back also strikes a lot of those chords as well. I, yeah, I find it I to be that good. The pacing is awesome. There's nothing I'd cut. There's nothing I'd add. Yeah. Everybody gave it a hundred and ten percent. Um even though the, the wampa scene, everything like that, the battle of Hoth, one of my most dude literal so favorite beautiful. parts. Yeah. yeah. I, and it, and I love how it, you go from fucking snow world to the swamp to fucking, yeah. you know, like the, 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 the sky city, whatever the fuck it's called. I forget the name of it. Yeah. Like it's so cool. It just takes you on this like epic journey across the galaxy. You know what I mean? And it's so fucking like the scope of it is fucking amazing. Agreed. Um, yeah. There's not much, there's nothing bad about the, empire Nothing strikes back yeah perfect movie now what about a new hope um you know what i like a new hope a lot i i will say like watching it more over time yep it, it's gotten kind of like boring in a way like sometimes like, it gets kind of boring it's still fun to watch don't get me wrong um but it i, I don't know if it could be because i've seen it so many times that it's i just don't like think I'm... it ages well yeah like it's kind of like it, the pacing is kind of like yeah wonky. the part that yeah, I think it's still more fun than it because it does have, you know, like you get Ben Kenobi's death in it and mm. and like Luke kind of the final battle with the Death Star. I really, really enjoy. I, I yeah. like that stuff better than the stuff that happens in Return of the Jedi. Yeah, personally, that's, what for I'm me. So a. that's why I've given an A. But yeah, it yeah. is interesting when you go back and watch it again. It's like it does not age as well for some reason. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. I don't think that it ages I wouldn't say well at all. It's just like that. Honestly, it probably wouldn't be the first Star Wars movie I show somebody. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. they'd be like, dude, this is boring as hell. This is what you're into. And like the lightsaber battles are very like up down. You know oh, what I dude, mean? Like, so like boring. So slow and boring. You <laughs> well, know what he, I mean? Lucas talked about how he pictured the lightsabers and then he kind of changed it over time. Right. Because he mm-hmm. said he originally felt like they were supposed to be these heavy things. Like the hilts are like heavy as fuck. Yeah. all the technology in it or something and like you know to take it to swing it it would take like a lot of effort but then you know in fucking phantom menace they're fucking like ninjas like spinning around yeah. and <laughs> it's like so yeah it is a boring the, the 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 it's cool seeing kenobi and obi-wan fight but it's so the the the, the choreography of it is so kind of it doesn't age well yeah exactly like if you, you show that part to somebody who had never seen star wars before or even a kid today they mm-hmm. probably would get pretty disinterested pretty quick. But at the mm-hmm. same time, flashy spaceships, things that yeah. light up and stuff, you know, I mean, it's still to this day is probably a movie that still draws in people. But I could also see how people could check out from the series from that movie. But it's still great. Without mm-hmm. it, we wouldn't have anything else that we've talked about today. Yeah, 100 percent. Is this the part that we're going to start disagreeing on in the sequel Maybe. trilogy? I, th- I mean, I don't think dude, we've been agreeing pretty easily. We have 24 yeah, we have minutes left. Easily. I Honestly. think we, I think we agree on this. I, I could be wrong, but um, let me hear your thoughts about Revenge of the Sith first. I fucking love Revenge of the Sith. So do I. I fucking love it. I to me, this is what the sequel trilogy is supposed to be. <laughs> like mm-hmm. it, it was this. Um, 
I he so let me say this. It's hard to talk about it without Attack of the Clones. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the shit I didn't like in Attack of the Clones stopped with Revenge of the Sith. Like it, it just became this different movie where it focused on Anakin, his downfall, and it focused on Obi Wan and Anakin. Like that's pretty yeah. much. I mean, you have the stuff with Padme still there, obviously, but like the the focus of this movie is just Anakin's downfall and and how mm -hmm. you know Obi Wan kind of deals with it. And I think it's fucking fucking beautifully done dude i mean like when yeah. he killed the kids at the temple like i was fucking like holy ones. shit yeah the, the Got fucking dark. Ones. <laughs> it yeah. did bro i was like I, I i was i don't know how old were you when you saw this i was so what what year was this 20, 2005 five or six let me double check and see revenge of the sith i was roughly like 15 or 16 when i saw this in theaters um yeah 2005 so i was 16 years old when i saw this in theaters bro and that scene i remember when he the kid and he just turns on the lightsaber and i was like what the fuck like, oh yeah yeah you're just like taken away from it dude and i think I, the, the scene doesn't stand out to a lot of people but uh, to me it does because i feel like this movie is about obi-wan and anakin and their relationship mm -hmm. is the scene mm -hmm. with like yoda like where obi-wan watches him kill the younglings and he pretty mm -hmm. much says like you yeah, know like, it was the, powerful the, yeah, he's like the kid that you train. He's like is gone. Like he's like it's just Darth Vader that's left. And I'm like, dude, that's such a powerful fucking scene. Yeah. Um, because I think that's what preps Obi Wan to kind of like emotionally be able to go and take on mm -hmm. Anakin. It's like that that he's looking at him. He's like, this is not the person that I've known for, you know my entire life anymore. Um, yeah. but it, it's it's a beautifully done scene. I mean, the only thing I'd maybe take away the Grievous is kind of corny. Uh, he's just <laughs> I love Grievous as a character. <laughs> you love but Grievous. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's, I, he's I a think cool he, design. Like, I like his design. design. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I think his fucking flaw is kind of stupid. It's really my only. It doesn't take any points away, but it's like, dude, you build this ultimate killing machine, you just leave his heart super exposed. You exposed <laughs> <laughs> out of everything. And it's yeah. I mean, like, I like I love his design, like with all the lightsabers flashing around, yeah. and the fact that he like collects them. I I feel like he could have been a really good character if he was introduced in episode in one, two, and then yeah, you slowly two, yeah. like see him kill Jedi throughout the series. And then you see him like, you know, like have his collection and be like, it would hit a little bit more. And maybe Obi-Wan would see it and be like, I know those people. I buy the hilts. I could tell like who those people are. Mm -hmm. um, that would have been cool. But um, a little more personal and stuff. Yeah, but they, they didn't do that. They just kind of introduced him. And I will say the opening space battle is fucking amazing, dude. If you yeah. go back and watch the... It, yeah. Those effects hold up so well for some they reason. Do. I don't know why. If you if you watch the 4K of this shit, dude, it's it's mind-boggling. It looks great. It looks and really, on really good. on an OLED, that looks oh, incredible. Dude. It pops. The detail it has. Yeah. yeah, it pops. It does. Now I want to watch it again. I kind of want to pop yeah. it. <laughs> Revenge, Revenge of the, the Sith, Sith, that is my thing. Revenge of the Sith is like it's, it's my favorite prequel for sure but it genuinely sits up top up there with rogue one and pirate strikes back where like they're all three different mm. flavors i cannot decide between any of them you know what i mean the you have so much epicness in in revenge of the sith and i know some people disagree but it's just again your flavor everything offers something mm -hmm. different in this series but you there is nothing in the entire fucking series that tops that last fight between obi-wan and anakin no i mean that's like <laughs> what everything's building for dude that's what like, yeah. i remember when this movie came out bro that's what everyone like you got that flash of them fighting in the trailer where they take the swing yeah. at each other the lava and the, you're the whole movie you're just waiting you're like i want to see these fucking guys fight like yeah let's, let's let's get and then when you're there it's just goosebumps like yeah yeah nothing yeah i agree with you 100 percent, dude this was a yeah a nostalgia trip for me because it's it's like i remember the hype when this movie came out there's very few movies um i think that warranted like that much like revenge of the sith the dark knight like those movies those are the movies i remember like when they opened like just the massive hysteria of everyone going mm -hmm. uh going to the theater to see it so um i love revenge of the sith dude i i wouldn't it's mind great. putting it up s tier i think it's a great fucking movie it's it, it's one of the more rewatchable ones i think Easily. because it is the climax where it's like everything's going down um just eye candy oh dude it's so much fun to watch he has so yeah. many great scenes and uh, ewan mcgregor is like we didn't mention him I, he's such a great obi-wan kenobi perfect I, yeah yeah perfect casting he's freaking amazing yeah He's great in that category. Um, Ewan McGregor, Hayden Christensen. I know he got a lot of uh, crap, especially like, you know, we're going to talk about the one that he probably got the most shit for. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing was, is like, he's actually a decent actor in anything. He hasn't done anything like super massive since then, mm -hmm. but he's actually a pretty solid actor. He can act. 
I'm not trying to say here and say he's Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio, but you know, he but played I, the part. Like yeah, he played an annoying told, bratty kind of. Yeah. yeah, he did what he was fucking told. He did yeah, his job, but people you know? like for some reason like personalized it and say like that was him. It wasn't Anakin. It's like no, that's that's yeah. Anakin to me at least. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, because like the thing is, is like they can say that's not Anakin. But you're not fucking George Lucas making yeah. these movies. You like he wrote I mean? those lines and he told Hayden Christensen, like, say it like that. He's a same master like millions of times. And it's, it's like, yeah, it's exactly. kind of cringy the way he talks. But it's like, that's what George Lucas wanted. Yeah, exactly. We got the Anakin that he wanted. And now look, people in the Ben Kenobi or the Obi-Wan Kenobi series were going to be pissed off had he not been recast as Vader, which they got their wish. But, yeah. you know, the n- nostalgia is a hell of a thing, you know, especially the it- people that grew up with the prequels and it's it's also i think time dude i think like we we talked a lot about um just like how movies over time you know you look at it 10 years later and people start developing different feelings about it and i feel like that's what happened with the prequel trilogy in a way not not the entire trilogy i, I mean I, but I, I do feel like as a whole like like there are fans now of the prequel trilogy there are people who love yeah. it whereas when it first came out it was almost like just ran now across the, the ground like yeah, yeah. It, it's and who knows? I mean, I don't see the happening. I don't. I don't trilogy. see that. No. <laughs> but I, I, I feel like the, the time, prequel yeah. trilogy. You look back at it. It's not. It's not a, what you know. All the shit that people said it was. Mm-mm. I think it's not a lot all. of fun. I um, agree. And I also do want to shout out outside of just the space battle scene with the buzz droids and their two little. Uh, what's the, the star? It's not starfighters. What's their little like? Oh, I know what you're talking about. The little uh, their ships. The, yeah, yeah, the little yeah. ships that they're in. I don't know what those are called. That, the model of those jet yeah. fighters or starfighters, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like but that. Yeah. Once they land in, just the the cinematography whenever they crash in and then and they, they pop jump out. out. <laughs> I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about, dude. I remember. Yeah. And that whole I mean, walk and the whole like, do it. We got. We got. We cannot forget to mention <laughs> the amount of fucking memes this movie generated, mm. man. <laughs> like, do it. The amount oh my of, god, dude. The no. The I will say that part was fucking corny as hell, and I was pissed yeah. that George Lucas did that. The, the, yeah. I. Oh my god. So bad. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the bad. only thing that, um, and it's always stuck out to me since I was, since I first watched this movie, is the part where um, Christopher Lee's. Um, Dooku goes like this after he throws Obi Wan aside because he just wants to fight Anakin alone. Yeah, and, you know you get that memo is like Battle of the Apprentices and stuff to a degree because he wants to he knows how he feels about this, but the way it looks whenever he brings that platform down over Obi Wan looks terrible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it, it falls yeah. on his body and he just looks like a sock getting pushed out of the yeah, it's like being like <laughs> grinded into yeah <laughs> yeah it's like dude it you're kind of weird <laughs> yeah but you're just kind of sitting there as like a sock mm-hmm. you know but. Fun movie, infinite it's, replayability. It's probably I mean, my second most rewatched. One more thing to say that I did, that wasn't happy about is like the, the way Padme goes out, where it's just like she just gives up. Like it, it, the, that is goofy. I I feel like he was just cornered in like to the right writing, the where it's like I yeah. have to like Padme has to die, obviously, and the kids need to be split up. But it's like he had yeah. no way of he should Vader should have just killed like like when he was choking her, he should have just killed her in that moment. I feel like yeah, just and it had some it, kind of Star Wars reason to have birth or something yeah something like that like because it, it's just like when you say she yeah. just gives up it's like it's so corny as fuck from a broken heart <laughs> yeah from a broken heart i'm like we've all uh, died from it, a broken heart we've all been there yeah but <laughs> you know what the the all the fun movie the moments that we talked about though overshadow all the weaknesses that this movie has because it does yeah. have a lot of weaknesses but it's just such a fun movie that it doesn't matter really well done in the cgi yeah. just like there's movies that came out <clears throat> marvel movies not trying to throw shade there's marvel it's movies true. from like five years ago that just look like shit already compared to this this movie looks spectacular yeah and see that's why that's the cgi i always take practical but cg's not always bad no it's not uh um, yeah so with that being said Oh, this clones. is the one bro this is the one okay so these are the two when we have just letting you know in time 15 minutes exactly we got plenty. by the way yeah so like i i I am always in a toss up as to how I want to rank these. I would say, and I'm going to get a lot of shit for this because people do not agree with me. I would say Attack of the Clones is worse than Phantom Menace. Wait, people people think otherwise? They, yeah. People, there's people that think Attack of the Clones is better than Phantom Menace? Where are these I, people? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we agreed with everything, bro. See? No, literally, I think it's it's because, let me, I'm going to say why, and, and maybe people can chime in in the comments or in the Discord and, and talk about it. But yeah, 
I, I think the hate for Jar Jar Binks in episode one is just so fucking excessive. I mean, don't it get is. me wrong. He he he's annoying. I, he needs to be out of that movie. I don't like him in the movie, but it's yeah. like that can't be the reason why you the hate it so much. Bad. That attack of the the attack of the clones has that dialogue that I cannot fucking stand, dude. The the it's Shakespearean dialogue. Yeah, it's stiff. It popped out of nowhere. It's not in any of the other movies. All of a sudden, everyone's like, my lady, my lord, and like talking like we're in fucking shakespearean yeah. times and i'm like what what happened here i, I don't fucking understand <laughs> see and they're drinking their <laughs> drinks with a pinky yeah <laughs> and, it, and it took me out dude i was just like i don't yeah. understand and then like it doesn't live up to the and it could be nostalgia but it doesn't when i that that fight with darth maul in episode one and we, we have to talk about episode one because we're comparing yeah. the two right now um yeah it it is so much better than the fight with dooku in episode two yeah, at least absolutely. to me. The only thing with Dooku, I mean, you get Yoda, which was badass. I remember seeing that as a kid in the theater, and you're like, "Oh, fucking Yoda's flipping around. That's fucking crazy." <laughs> yeah, but it's we not. Didn't... Pause. We didn't even fucking mention the Sidious. Oh, and Yoda dude, yeah. Fight. Oh was... my god, such an epic fight in the in dude. the in the Senate room too. Like dude. George Lucas was like, "How yes. how epic can I make this?" He's like, "I want to put He's it in the like, fucking." Rah. Oh, dude, yeah. such a good fight. And the music, yeah, I, that out. I it's, love it's that intense. fucking soundtrack. So fucking Yoda weird. getting beaten like that. Damn. Oh, so sad. Good. Yeah. And he's and he yeah. kicks fucking, you know, and for the most part, he's kicking, you know, Count Dooku's ass. But mm -hmm. um, I the dialogue takes it out. Honestly, this is going to sound stupid. The dialogue, it gets a little too weird and political. Um, mm -hmm. But and I like political. Don't get me wrong. That's why I like kind of like Andor and Rogue One. That was yeah, like setting it up the power, the transfer of power, yeah, everything like that. It's just kind of like a, it's a middle chapter, and it's just not, it doesn't live up to episode. I feel like episode one is way more fun. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll kind of <clears throat> make a, 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 not really an argument for episode <clears throat> two, but I literally think if you just change things like you said and slightly altered, I think he would have had a perfectly coherent trilogy in the prequels. Because he had a good idea there. I just think his execution and style and the way that he had Hayden Christensen acting, acting was really mm -hmm. weird. Oh, Like yeah. the parts like, you know, whenever they're kissing and stuff like that, there's like this weird thing, you know, for the audio listeners, you can't see my hands. So I'm going to try my best to describe it. But they're like bobbing and weaving at each other like this as they're going <laughs> to kiss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. there's this, it's not like. You know, oh, my, but it's just like, yeah. there's this fucking it's like, like a, the fish trying to get a little over dramatic hesitation. Yeah. yeah. It's like, and it's not even thought. smooth. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's like somebody trying to draw a straight line and then, you know, their hand mm -hmm. spazzes for a second. Yeah. And you just squiggle. Like, the, it, oh. it's those slight imperfections in this movie. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, we forgot to mention the most epic downfall of this movie is, you know, sand is, you know, coarse and rough and it, it gets everywhere. <laughs> You know, and that is a corny line, but again, that goes straight to the point where like it could have been much better done and left. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Everything here could pretty much stay. Like I like the Zam Wessel part. Mm -hmm. That part's really cool. The Django Fett, the clone facility. Like I, the, I love that. That's get, my favorite part of the movie. Is the it, yeah the movie doesn't get nearly enough credit for that part. Yeah, like with Obi Wan fighting him like uh, like in the rain. Like yeah. I, I I love that scene. I think it's a great scene. Gorgeous. And um, the the way that they're going through the city, you know, I, I got to dock points for the way that fucking Obi-Wan has his hair. He looks like Billy Ray Jesus. with a break. He looks like Jesus, bro. <laughs> like, there's so many memes of, like, grandmas with, like, fucking Ewan McGregor, like, on their fucking mantle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, the it's really weird. corny. I do um, like the Battle of Geonosis, though. I really it's, do. It's a cool, yeah, it's a cool battle. You know what I mean? Just, I definitely again, think... not done to the fullest. And, uh, I mean... And another good thing is like I, I like Sam Jackson in this. Obviously, yeah. when you get the purple lightsaber, I remember as a kid like seeing the purple lightsaber. I'm like, "There's a purple lightsaber? What the fuck?" Like yeah. it was just so mine. And he chops off fucking Jango Fett's head. Like there are some cool moments in this. You know what yeah. I mean? But it, it's definitely I think it's 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 not when I get excited to watch a lot of times. Like sure. it, I'm not like if I'm going through my Star Wars binge. Like usually I do it once a year. Um, I I. When I hit episode two, I'm like, let me just get through this shit <laughs> and get to episode yeah. three. Yeah, I think if it was either shorter or just literally parts were redone, <clears throat> it'd be a perfectly fine movie. It's just I feel like the Padme and Anakin stuff is overdone. Where do you feel like it sits on here? Um, That's where I don't know. I definitely you know what I talking about now that we're looking at it, I can visualize the rank. I, 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 I definitely watch Attack of the Clones over Last Jedi, probably. I don't know. I mean, or so you say uh, C. 
D probably over last year. <laughs> oh, D. I feel yeah. like I give it a little bit more just because of what it's got going on and some of the more redeeming qualities. I think C is somewhat fair. Okay, that's fair. I'll, I'll put it there. Yeah, it, you know, it's but just, after I don't get excited to watch it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But it's like I can't put it next to Last Jedi because that one has so few few you're right redeeming you're right. qualities than attack of the clones yeah so i'd rather I mean, it be at the end of c you know what i mean that's fair i think that's totally fair i yeah that's that's okay because the clone wars movie do you do you think the clone wars movie is better than attack of the clones mm, no nah, it's a little bit too yeah too kid friendly i, I would actually put good. it there yeah um yeah. I, and i will say the scene i forgot to mention in attack of the clones like when he kills the uh the Huts, Tuscan raiders or the yeah the the Tuscan raiders um that was a pretty powerful scene. Yeah, agreed. and where he buries his mom, it's a really good scene. It's really well done. So I mean, there there are fl- there are glimpses of a good movie in there. It's just like what you said. It's like he needed to rework and redo it. The pacing's mm-hmm. kind of weird, and the Padme stuff is a little excessive. This ranking might be where we spend our little. We got seven minutes. Uh, we have eight minutes and fourteen seconds left. Oh, plenty of fucking time. Huh. We'll so, see. I guess. Literally, remo- and even then, like I got to. Rem- I was a kid. When this movie came out in theaters. So how old were you when you saw this movie? When I first saw it? Probably six. You saw it in theaters, right? No, 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 no. I just remember it coming out in theaters, but I, oh, def- okay. I didn't get into Star Wars. I this I had on VHS. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, I saw it yeah. in theaters. I was 10 years old when this came out in theaters. And I remember yeah. we were out in line. Um, This was back in the day where you could not reserve seats. Like It was like literally yes. we were in line waiting for two showings ahead of us. So we had to wait for two showings to get into Damn. the fucking movie, bro. It was crazy. It was nuts. That's wild. Yeah. So I'm assuming your parents are hardcore. No, they, they're oh, not. They just... We we were just like so excited to watch it. Like, because like yeah. me and my brother were just like the trailers and the lightsaber toys and everything. Mm-hmm. Like the hype that was going around at school. Like everyone wanted to watch it. And we're like, we need to see this movie. So they took mm-hmm. us. Hell yeah. Yeah. Troopers on that one. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to my mom and dad. They were troopers <laughs> staying there for fucking like four hours in line waiting for this movie. Um, yeah, where would you put I it? it? I mean, like, you love Honestly, it? I love Phantom Menace. Uh, I think everything it has going for it. I think there are some slower bits, but I didn't find Jar Jar Binks. I still don't find him absolutely insufferable. There's much more insufferable things in the sequels than there is Jar Jar Binks. And I'll, I'll, I will argue that for a while. I think the dialogue but, in Attack of the Clone is worse than Jar Jar Binks yeah (laughs) Mm -hmm. that's very fair um but the pod racing you know the dynamic of qui-gon and uh, anakin finding i love qui-gon jinn dude yeah dude he was like my favorite character and i was so pissed off with you know him dying at the end of this (laughs) one i was like damn you know yeah never again but you know so many cool and darth maul is the ultimate fucking badass dude that is my only complaint with this movie is i feel like they could have made darth maul into almost this um the, the the prequel villain so to speak i know it's about mm-hmm. anakin and his downfall but he could have spanned three movies 100 percent. i feel like but he instead was such they had a dooku yeah and i feel like that, yeah. that they went wrong with that dude i really love uh darth or darth maul I, I mean he barely he has like fucking three lines in the entire movie but he's so menacing and his presence is like i mean on the poster he's on the fucking poster and he looks like he's gonna be like this important character and yeah i, I don't like, like how a they shadow striker yeah yeah pretty much <clears throat> yeah and then the, the starfighter scenes everything um i don't find like what's his name jake lloyd alan lloyd or something like that oh the kid um the, the kid actor like t- god people, it must have been a different time uh um, I, I, I don't i don't understand like what like the hate he's a kid he's, he's a kid he's doing i mean he played his role he he didn't he's not even that annoying he's like no. i want to be a pilot and it's like well, that's this what is fucking kids racing. do yeah, yeah it's like you are what? a kid fucking watching this you know what I mean? yeah exactly it's like i don't understand what all the hate was about i mean yeah that, now the midichlorian thing is fucking stupid i, think I do agree because it takes yeah. away like the kid's connection you know <clears throat> then you're like do i have midichlorians you know what i mean because because <laughs> like well, it takes away the I, mysticism right yeah it does because like that's the thing i always tell people when we're talking about star wars like that that's george lucas says i think dave filoni even recently talked about it like the thing is is for a kid to want to be a jedi to yeah. inspire good in this yeah so how if you don't have fucking midichlorians that don't exist in this world, nobody can aspire to be a Jedi. Yeah, you know dude. what I mean? It takes away that just that sense of a galaxy far, far away, that that mm-hmm. fantasy world where you're like, oh, Jedis were real, this and that. But, but again, at the same time, if you're a kid, you probably didn't hear that line of dialogue. 
<laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I was, uh, you're like, made it what? <laughs> and you're just like, okay, yeah. whatever. Like, then you, you see Darth Maul like 20 seconds later. And you're like, oh, yeah, Spike. Oh, yeah. Guy. Dude, I love that scene. And and people, uh, this is something I think people um, don't really call out in the prequel so, or uh, the series as a whole. I love the scene on Tatooine with Darth Maul attacking Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon Jinn. Ship. I wish that scene was longer. Agreed. It is way too short. I feel like that shit should have been like three, four minutes long of them duking it out. Like it was yeah. such a bad like the cinematography of like his black cloak against the fucking desert dunes. Desert. Like it's so fucking badass. It's fucking phenomenal, man. <clears throat> I agree. Yeah, that um, that in the duel. It is, it, the, yeah, this is the one where it's, yeah, it is duel of the fates. Oh yeah, the score. Oh uh, dude, my fate. That's what I, I know. This this might be controversial. That is my favorite <laughs> score in all of Star Wars. Hands down. I I think most people would agree to that. Really? Yeah, I, thought, I, I figured so. people would go Imperial March. I I like Imperial March a lot, but it is yeah. very just kind of like a standard kind of, you know what villain I mean? It, it's yeah, it's a very standard like villain. There's something so epic. I mean, Duel of the Fates. I think it was it wasn't it used in like movie trailers sometimes, I'm like in the sure, early two yeah. thousands. Like people like would clip it and like use it for like trailers and shit. Like yeah. I think they would do that. But yeah, I mean it's it's so iconic it's just so epic um mm-hmm. i would agree with you there i i think the question is we got like three minutes left is like where would you want to put this plenty. on the ranking um you keep saying honestly, plenty i, I don't think eight. that's plenty i think i'm, I'm like three minutes i'm getting oh, stressed we've, <laughs> we've gotten this pretty damn organized and we got this organized with 90 seconds left on batman i'd say a that's my thing really? i love phantom Miss that much and it could be i rewatch it all the time so i don't think it's nostalgia um the, the underworld I, of naboo how that looks the duel of the fates the, the the space scenes the mix of practical and cgi still holds up to this day even jar jar binks like you can hate on jar jar binks all you want but it doesn't make it anything less than a great star wars movie to me i think i mean there's still a lot of problems with it um yeah i I'm not, and i am caught up with nostalgia watching it like so i i would put it personally as a b over force awakens, force awakens. i I don't know if I'd put it over Return of the Jedi though. I can settle for that. Oh shit! Why did I do that? I can settle I, for that. I can see your argument though. I think that I think though the thing that's fueling that is like nostalgia. It's just a pure nostalgia trip. It's just like that, dude, it's small, bro. It has the. I will <laughs> yeah. say. I mean, I love the the lightsaber fight in episode or in episode three. But I yeah. would say like the lightsaber fight in episode one is a close second. Like it's no like, agreed. They're just so. It's just so epic. Two and on it's one. like oh dude it's so funny and yeah. it's double lightsaber i remember as double a kid like you saw that you're like what it's a double lightsaber yeah. it was just so <laughs> yeah. dude everyone in the theater was freaking the fuck out that that, yeah. that scene is just so cool i remember as a kid with the vhs i'd rewind it i have to like we'd watch the fight and then we would rewind it back to the beginning of the fight watch it again and we'd do it like fucking 10 times in a row just because yeah. we're like so fucking fascinated with like copying the choreography and trying to fucking <laughs> you know it, it was yeah. crazy bro uh, Hell but I yeah. think that's a fair ranking. Like, like I said, I, I think it is. I had a feeling we were gonna agree. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I'm surprised we agreed on. Like, I think the only thing we literally disagreed is I would, I personally would strongly put it right behind a New Hope. I don't have the nostalgia for Return of the Jedi that much, and I, I, I find Phantom Menace infinitely more rewatchable. You know what I mean? Because of the ending, the payoff in Phantom Menace is better than Return of the Jedi to me for the payoff. You know I can I see mean? that. I I see where you're coming from. I think for me, it's because I I I grew up watching like the original yeah. trilogy and VHS a lot. Yeah. Um. So like I do have some nostalgia towards. It. I don't. I I don't like how perfect it is. I, growing up, you know what I mean. It is kind of wrapped mm-hmm. in a bow. It's not a and it's not the best, but it's it's. I still think it's better than Phantom Menace. I can, if I had to, I can see that. And then for the people that are on audio, just to give them another rundown, because I know we just we didn't do that on yeah, our Yeah, we did it. We we did it by the way. We're I'm, I'm pausing and we had 19 seconds left. So nice. We, nice. We agreed. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to let people know on audio what the rank is. What we're is. looking at. Because they're probably over there doing that one math meme with the girl in the blonde hair with all the math going <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I know. I'm trying right? to follow it. So on S and these ones I, I think we agreed are tr- tied. Right. Yeah, I, yeah I'm for sure. Rogue these one are all three. Back. Yeah. So Rogue One, Star Wars, or Star Wars, um, Empire Strikes Back, and then Revenge of the Sith in no order. Uh, we 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 see those as like the the trifecta. Well, actually, I I actually think so. Rogue One and Empire Strikes Back are tied, and then in tie, and Revenge, then Revenge of, the of the Sith. Sith. Yeah, that's me. Personally. Okay, that's you. I I would agree, but <clears throat> it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. It's probably why mm-hmm. I'd say that. 
ideally as a movie all three of them aren't tied it just depends on what i want if i want something with bright colors and shit i'm gonna go for revenge of the sith yeah you know if i want to cry i'm gonna watch rogue one <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> and then on a we got a new hope b in order we have return of the hope phantom menace return and- of the jedi what I say? You say Return of the Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the Jedi. Maybe that's uh, going to be episode uh, whatever, episode 13 episode, or whatever. It's episode like. 13, <laughs> Return of the Hope for us to be able to make a decent Star Wars movie since Rogue One. Yeah. Uh, Force Awakens. And then C, in order, Solo, a Star Wars story. Attack of the Clones, episode 2. The animated Clone Wars movie. D for dog shit. Um, Star Wars, <laughs> the last uh, Jedi. And then F for never fucking watch it again it is i watched it a few times so I, I wanted to i watched it a few times bro because i was like i want to i want to maybe something. like watch it like like grow, you know when you watch a movie sometimes a little bit more you start liking it more yeah uh, that's what i wanted out of rises but i never, you never got did. there i think the only thing i started liking more i do like the end with like uh where she's calling out to the the dead jedi and you hear everyone's mm-hmm. voices and stuff i do like that scene i thought that was kind of cool but um yeah it's trash <laughs> Yeah, trash I don't movie. Like that movie at all. I might rewatch it just because I, I'm sure there's going to be somebody that enters my life that I'm going to have to show them all of that. Oh yeah, you and got fuck. I'm going to be. I'm going to tell them there's just seven episodes. <laughs> <laughs> or six. Yeah, dude. I don't. And we don't know. I mean, so like as of now with Disney, they they haven't really talked about when they're going to make any more like Star Wars movies. They do have the new Acolyte TV show that's coming out. I don't know if you saw the trailer for that. I didn't watch the trailer. It looks good. I saw uh... stills of it. Dude, it's it looks. I'm actually pretty those. hopeful for that one. I think that that yeah. one looks kind of dope because it looks like High Republic era, like Jedi in their prime, and you got like almost kind of like an Asian culture vibe with it, like almost like ninja yeah. Jedi kind of stuff. It looks really cool. So that does look cool. Uh, I only saw the stills, so that's why I say that. I'm going through Andor currently, and I only got three episodes. That actually is what kind of checked me out for Star Wars. I didn't dislike it. It's just it was fucking boring that one villain, and I know you finished it, so of course don't. I'm which go which one are you talking Obi-Wan? about? One, oh, we won. I got to the thir- end of the third episode between like the big you know confrontation for people that haven't seen it, and mm-hmm. it's just like they kept shoehorning this one character in there. It's like you have nothing to fucking do with Obi Wan and Anakin. Get the fuck off the Get screen. Get away. Yeah, <laughs> she's just kind of. Uh, I feel bad for her. She's a good actress. Yeah, I think she was she's good. a good actress. Yeah, I Felt think it's, it's more so it's the character that feels out of place with it. Agreed. And I haven't seen Ahsoka, but I haven't heard bad things about it. I really liked Ahsoka, dude. I am. Yeah. I, I could be, you know, some people have called me out on the Discord that it's like, you know, maybe a Rebels thing because I love Rebels. If you love yeah. Rebels, you are going to love Ahsoka. Oh, so it, it ties into Rebels. Yeah, you have what's her face from I, I forget these characters' names. Sabine? Forgive me, Sabine. Yeah, like a live action Sabine, and she does a fucking killer job, dude. Nice. I think, and so there's a big dynamic play between because that's how spoilers. If you have not seen Rebels, the ending of Rebels, um, that's how it ended was with Ahsoka and Sabine going to find uh, what's his face. Yeah, he um, picks up right after that. It uh, uh, several years later, um, but is you, Ezra you, in it? You want me to spoil it for you? <laughs> oh, is that a big pivotal moment? He might, or he may or may not be in it. Let's okay, I I loved his fucking character, and I love dude. His I, Rebels is a really. I wish we had it's good. I mean, it's not a live action movie or whatever, but it, Rebels is an incredible show. I, I think yeah. the only thing that keeps people from watching it is that it looks super kitty. The animation looks like super, yeah. like your you know five year olds going to watch it, and they almost turned me away the first season because it is so kitty. It's but so when you, slow the first season. Yes, and then you get into the second one, it gets so dark. And yeah. I'm like, this is so fucking interesting. I'm glad I stuck with it because it's a great story. Yeah, I agree on that one. Yeah, I got to do catch. I'm watching Andor right now because I'm going to drop a review for the channel. Um, it looks Andor. awesome on 4K, by the way. Uh, yeah, I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the steelbook. I feel like I spent because I, I paid whatever it was when the uh, Mandalorian and Loki and all those came out, and then those yeah. like dropped like pretty significantly later. And I'm like, I don't want to pay full price again for these, and it's like. A few I, months yeah. later, they're cheaper. I Andor, by I will let you know, and you'll probably see the scene when it happens. Andor has one of the best monologues, or best monologue scenes, I should say, in entire Star Wars history. Nice. There is a scene in there where a character's talking for like two minutes or three minutes, and it, I'm like, that is some of the best writing I've fucking seen in a minute. It's really, really good. But this is what the audience is going to want to know. Does it match the monologue in Pearl? 
Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you, you're you talking about two minutes versus a, not a 10 minute performance by Mia Goth. No, it's not the same thing. <laughs> no, I really I, you like know what? If they gave, that. if they gave him another 10, it's, I forgot what, it, who's the actor Skarsgård or whatever his name is. Uh, Oh, Skarsgård's in it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, whatever his... I, I can never say his whole name, but he delivers the monologue, dude, and it's such a fucking... It, it, you really delve into the like the the dark side of the the rebellion, of like like all the shitty things you need to do to do good. You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah. It really delves into that, and it's like, wow, that's a fucking powerful monologue. And I think people kind of quit the show three episodes in, because it is a very slow start for the show. It is. I, yeah, I found it but, eye candy though. The <clears throat> set design is immaculate. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, the the last half of the show is really where it shines. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Sounds like I gotta catch up on them. I'm definitely gonna finish Obi Wan. I'm I, I gotta finish it before I find out if I'm gonna pick. I I want to have everything Star Wars. I don't have the Mandalorians because I never watched season three, but I like the first two. I figured they'd go in a bargain bin for twenty bucks because they printed off. I'm sure so many. Yeah, so many for Mandalorian. I mean, they're yeah. great. I I I haven't watched. I, I've seen them all on Disney Plus, but the four Ks for Mandalorian, I've only seen like two or three episodes from each disc. Oh really? Uh, but they look really really fucking good. They Damn. look really good. Oh, yeah. is ahsoka out or no was that was that made into a steel book no that's kind it of wasn't. fucked up Mm-mm. they should have yeah I'm i sure probably would have bought that wave. one to be honest with you i really would have bought that one the art on them is what drew me in because the one for obi-wan looks killer the one for moon knight looks amazing i did a review for that one and the one for uh i'm surprised you got Kenobi moon knight. Looks... Uh, he's i know he's favorite. your favorite i know he's i know he is, but time. it's like uh, the, the show was just good. like no, it's yeah, I, I ranted. it. I could have made that at an hour long. Po- I, I could have done a solo podcast and just randomly dropped it. It just <laughs> on that. complaining about it the whole time. Literally, just two of my favorite actors of all time are in it: Oscar Isaac and Ethan and Ethan Hawke. Yeah, and then they're fucking turning into a crocodile and fucking uh, yep. yeah, yeah, messed up. But between. yeah, we'll see. We we have a fun time doing these time rankings, guys. We'll see if we maybe we'll do another one or or maybe kind of talk about more of the four K stuff next time. But um. We will let you know. We'll uh, keep you guys posted. If you have been watching these videos and you have still not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so we know what videos you guys want to see down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. See ya.